Hi there, welcome to Starfish. What we're going to do today, we're going to show you a little bit of how to shuck oysters if you're going to shuck oysters at home. Me personally, I would shuck oysters on a little bit of a board like this. We're using a standard little oyster knife and some oysters, of course. What I'm going to do for home, you want to take a cloth. This is sort of a safety thing. You want to keep yourself safe first and foremost. Get the cloth wet and you fold it once, twice, three times, four times. This makes a little bit of a pocket and a guard at the same time. You take your oyster, you're going to find that oysters are all sort of teardrop shaped. You want to go through the hinge, which is the back of the oyster, where the oyster naturally opens up like this. The hinge forms a bit of an opening, but you want to put it cup side down. So you have your flat part of your cap, your bottom part is a cup. Put it on the, board, on the cloth like this, and then fold it over. That's a guard. For eight layers of cloth that's wet, the knife is not going to go through. So you just hold it with your thumb up, you put your oyster knife into the hinge and you want to wiggle it, turn it back and forth like this, like you're turning a screwdriver and put it into the hinge till it sticks. Then you do one good turn and crack it open. So you put it in like this, open it up as such. Relieve the cloth so you can open up the oyster, push it up till you can see down the pipe that the, where the meat is attached to the top adductor muscle and just scrape it, scrape it off like so. Then you turn the oyster while looking for grit. Use the knife tip or your impeccably clean finger to wipe out any of the grit because your patrons are not going to want to eat crunchy oyster shells that are in there. And you look at the adductor muscle right here. This is the only area where it's going to be attached to the bottom shell. You want to scrape that away right off so you can see the black button underneath. You want to scrape it so it's loosened and then you can place it right on the ice as such. And that's how you do a nice little oyster. So again, in, crack it open, cut the top, turn, look for grit, slice underneath, and place it as such. Now if you're serving a whole bunch of oysters, you might want to prep this up ahead of time. You can put it into your fridge, keep it uh, a slight plastic cover over top of it, and have the oysters pre-shucked for your guests if you're going to shuck them at home. Or if you want to shuck them ahead of, uh, in front of your people, just keep yourself uh, happy and clear and uh, get your cloth ready and get everything ready ahead of time. Something like that.